So you're headed off to college and you're going to need a car. Now you scour the World Wide Web for help and end up here. Well, let me just say that I have been in your shoes. I know what it's like for someone to flash a picture of his or her first car and for you to feel jealous. I mean, th this is my dad's first car. It, it, it was a Camaro. It was, it was a, I, 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 maybe you've been dreaming of a certain car. Maybe not, but you've seen YouTube videos of kids your age rolling up the campus in sick rides. Or maybe you're like me. You can't afford to buy a car, but that doesn't matter because you don't even know where to begin. Well, this video, this is for those of you like me. Damn it. In high school, I was a scholar. I had high grades, I edited the school paper, and I had lead roles in musical theater. This all got me a seriously satisfying scholarship for college. Once my family received that news, my parents said to me, Son, you've been very good, and we believe that a reward is in order. They offered to either help cover the costs of dorming or to get me a car. I took the car. The car I wanted was a 1982 DeLorean DMC-12. But the car that was selected for me was a 1999 Nissan Altima GLE. It had 101,000 miles and was the top trim level with a sunroof, spoiler, and leather package. To my parents, it cost $3,500, but to me, it was priceless. It meant freedom to drive where I wanted, when I wanted. I had so many adventures in this thing. It survived two saltwater floods, one of which was Hurricane Sandy, traveled about 30,000 miles through four different states, and was even the star of a short film I made. It was based on a true story about me getting trapped in my own trunk, too. I'm proud to say that I've since graduated college, gotten a job, and made a little money. The other week, I purchased my first new car, and my family sold the Altima. That car was the best college car. For me. For you, maybe it's not this make, model, or year. Maybe it's an equally old car that your parents help you buy. Or maybe it's not a car at all, but the experience of dorming or taking public transportation with friends. A fellow fan of DeLorean's, Doc Brown, puts it this way. It means your future hasn't been written yet. No one's has. Your future is whatever you make it. So make it a good one. No matter the vehicle that gets you through college, respect it, be thankful for it, and rest easy knowing that you make it the best college car around. Oh, 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 oh,